It's your boy Soldier Chris, and we back at it. Another conversation with the game spitter. And what we're talking about today is 1099 versus a W2 as a company driver. We ain't talking about lease driver. We ain't talking about owner ops. We just talking about being a company driver, choosing between a 1099 or a W2. Which one the best? What would you do? What would I do? I'm going to break both of them down. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Hit the dislike button, man. Just show some support. Go in that comment. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you think about the video. Tell me what, what you're doing. How you feel about it. After that, go to that Instagram. 704 Soldier Chris. That's at 704 Soldier Chris Instagram. Subscribe to that. Go ahead and jump in the DM. If you got any questions or anything, I'll get right back at you. 1099 W2. Should you do the W2? Should you do the 1099? What should you do? What would I do? Me personally, I'd never do a W2. I'd never work for a W2. I don't care what he offer. I don't care what she offer, what, what big company, I don't care. I'm not working for no W2. I feel like a W2 is a scam. It's a scam that's made up. It's a scam that was made up by the government, AKA the regime, AKA the IRS. You know what I'm saying? It's everything about it is, is, is all wrong. It's, it's, a, it's a setup for failure. It's the, the 40-40. Deal. We, we ain't doing that. The 40 40 deal is you work 40 hours for 40 years for a 401k. Stay in command. And you can't, and you can't um, live off that. You can't live off no, no 401k because when you, let's just talk, let's just talk regular job. If you was, say if you was putting in, say the company match you, say if you was putting in, no, fifty dollars a week or something, forty dollars a week. You do that for forty years, it wouldn't be enough. You you wouldn't you wouldn't you retire when you fifty five, sixty or something. It wouldn't be enough. You run out of money. Whether it be medicine, take all your money. Whether it be just your rent, your house. You know, just everyday life, car notes, whatever it be. It ain't enough. Even if as a truck driver making a thousand dollars a week, eight hundred dollars a week. You, it, it won't be, it'll only last, especially you, you being single, it'll only last you a couple of years, maybe five. You it ain't no telling how it's gonna play out. So, I feel like the 401k is scam. But, we're gonna talk about W2 first. Why, why I don't like the W2. Now you do what you wanna do, but I'm gonna tell you why I feel like the W2 is no good. Well, the W2, you should never, you should never, you should run away from a W-2. Only, not only if you just coming in to trucking your first year, you know what I'm saying, you getting in the game, fresh out of, you went to a mega carrier school, fresh out of school, just to get your feet wet, yeah, hit, go, go, do do the W-2. Take the W-2, that'll be, you know what I'm saying, you just trying to get in the door, learn, learn how to back, learn how to, you know what I'm saying, make a couple of dollars, you get the health insurance and all that. But after you get six months a year, I feel like you should. Go ahead and go on that credit list and find you a 1099 job. I feel like uh, America is set up for the businessman. It's not really set up for the ant workers, for the B workers. It's not, and that's what you is if you're on the W-2. You, you're just an ant worker. It, it ain't set up for you. It's, it's, it's set up all against all against you. Think about it. On, with the W-2, you, you pay... You pay they you pay taxes on it every week. Then you pay taxes on everything you buy outside of it. Everything you buy from the gas, from food to from clothes, to cars, for everything. Everything you buy, you swipe your car or give your cash to. You pay taxes. Um, everything. I hate about the W two. You can't you can't write off nothing. Like. Whatever whatever the number is is what it is. It ain't no finessing around. It ain't no beating around the bush. It ain't no. It ain't no working the numbers. Is if you made fifty two thousand, you made fifty two thousand. You know your CPA can't work that, so you might as well go to. 
you can anybody can do your taxes like it ain't it ain't the move it, it's 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 a it's a trick it's they give you 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 get money back maybe yeah most likely you get money back but it's the money that you work for all year see a lot of mega carriers and people who own small companies or a uh, big company they'll tell you it's smarter for them to put you on the w-2 it saves them money so of course they're gonna say never uh work for 1099 they're gonna try to persuade you they're gonna try to persuade you that a 1099 is the wrong move a 1099 is um they're gonna tell you that you're gonna owe so much money at the end of the year and you're gonna owe 10 15 20 grand man that's not true they telling you all the bad stuff but they're not telling you all the stuff that will, will make you break even or possibly even give you money back so we talking about as a company driver not a lease driver so they're going to tell you that yeah you can you can be you can you can you can get a 1099 and and, and work for a company with a 1099 you make more a week and yeah you making right off your your per diems and your cell phone bill but they're not giving you the rest of the game they're gonna be like yeah you still gonna owe you still gonna be in this type of tax bracket and you still gonna come out of you still gonna be on five to eight to ten to fifteen grand but i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm show you the little trick i'm gonna show you I, with the w2 i feel like dumping all that dumping all that money into a 401k i feel like that's the wrong thing dumping all that money into an ira i feel like man i feel like the government can take that from you at any time any little, any little bad thing that happened in America or they need, I feel like they can snatch that 401k from you. And I feel like you ain't gonna make enough money to even survive off the 401k. So why, why would, why would you put, listen to this, why would you put all this money in your 401k when you could take that money and invest in something? Why would you be putting a hundred dollars a week in your 401k or fifty dollars a week in your 401k when you could be taking that same money? to invest, whether it be real estate, barbershop, hair salon, clothing store, more trucks, a car lot, a subway, stocks and bonds. But you, you taking that $250, $100, $150 and then dumping into the IRA, dumping into 401k, and that's your investment money. And if you try to take that out, they're gonna tax you on it. So why would you do it? Rich people don't do it. And remember, the difference between rich and poor is information. That's it. That's all, it's the information. When I say poor, that's the, the low income and the middle class. It ain't no, it's, it's either poor or rich. That, that's pretty much. The poor live check to check and the middle class can probably go without, they can live after two or three checks they can still make it after the third check. They they just a couple checks away from poor being poor. That's really the, where the middle class is. You know what I'm saying? So um, don't dump don't dump all that money into no 401k, man. That's your investment money. Remember that. See, long as you're on the W two, they always can control you. They always can put a cap on them how much money you can make. You understand that? Like they always. They know that you can't invest. Like you need, they know you can't grow, uh, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say. They know you can't grow wealth on a W-2. Like they know that it's a certain amount of money you need to make to even grow wealth. And with, you know what I'm saying? Like it's impossible to do that with a W-2. And if you, if you is making decent money, you putting a whole lot of hours in. You, you, you working graveyard shifts as far as like doctors and lawyers, they, they ain't doing no eight hour shifts. They're not they pulling they're not just pulling eight, ten hour shifts. They they working hard. And I ain't no telling how many hours a week that they doing to make a hundred grand, hundred twenty grand. So that's another thing I don't like about the W two. Don't 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 let them benefits don't let don't let them benefits and all them little deals, all them good deals they throwing at you, don't let that fool you, don't let that blind you. That's not the move. It's not like you gotta think smarter than that. Think about like all the rich people you know in America, all the wealthy people, none of them work on a W-2, none of them. They all 1099. 
So you should think about that. The difference between rich and poor is information. And you're trying to get the information. Like TB said, you're trying to get the re-education. So understand when, when, when other YouTubers trying to give you the game, really like understand what he's saying, dig into it, do research, YouTube stuff. The game is there. But if you don't, just watch my videos, I get to. Think about all the trucking companies that it is in the trucking industry. Most of them that pay W2 don't pay good, they pay basic money, 52,000, 60,000. That's it. Maybe 70,000 if you're lucky. Unless you're doing some like, ATSA you can make 85 grand a year been doing heavy haul but you got to be doing heavy haul you see what i'm saying so how many are you doing that so either way you still paying a, that's gross you know what i'm saying the 85 so that's gonna that ain't gonna be what it is so i just feel like once you get to your six months to a year experience the, these credit lists these 1099 companies these these foreigners they'll take you they'll take you with no experience you just got to do your research and find them me, I want all my money up front. I don't want, I don't want no taxes taking out my money every week. I want all my money up front. If if, if I gross uh, uh, two grand a week, I need the two grand. That's investment money. You don't want the IRS, the government taking. You made you grow. You you worked on W W two. Say you work for. Um, I give you an example. Say you work for a percentage company like uh, TMC. Or, or builders, they give you twenty five percent, thirty percent. Say you you work all you work hard all week. You got good load. Say you at the end of your week, you see a check and you um you gross. Say you gross like eighteen hundred or two thousand dollars that week, and then after the taxes come, you only made eleven hundred, twelve hundred. Lord, don't and we ain't even talking child support. We ain't even talking about child support yet, dog. So that ain't the move, man. You don't want that. You don't want them taking all that money. You did all that. You worked all them loads, got them good loads for nothing. Well, just to get a couple of bands back at the end of the year. You want all that money up front. That's the investment money. You know, unless you're not a business type guy, and I, then I understand why we, why you own the W-2. And maybe the W-2 will work for you. But I'm talking about the guys that wanna that want to be in a truck forever. I'm talking to the guys that don't want to be driving the truck for 30, 40 years, or, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to use trucking for another uh, another investment and and just got bigger goals, bigger dreams. I want to own fleets. The, the, the W-2, not the move. Nah. All right, now we're going to talk about 1099. That's the way to, that's the, that's the move. That's the way to go. See, just what you got to understand about the 1099. People that's... See, most rich people don't pay taxes. Most most rich people, they break even. Or some rich people, they get money back. The ones that do pay money, they make so much money that year, it don't even matter. The, the, the celebrities and the rich people, the uh, famous people that you see that don't pay their taxes and the IRS come get them five years later, that was because they either, they was making bad business deals, the wrong, they were spending too much money, living out their means, spending more money than they was making, and they had to skip, they couldn't pay their taxes, or they just thought they could finesse and they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't catch them. That's it. But most, most rich people, they don't, they break even or they don't even pay taxes at all. So keep that in mind. We're going to get into the steps of what you need to do when you find a company that pay ten ninety nine. It's going that would and the deal looks so good. It's, it's too good to be true, but it, 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 it's, it's the move to make. You, you find you're going to create this. You might go in Chicago, look up Chicago and go to jobs. See companies are paying 80 cents, 70 cents. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Go to the company, sign up, get hired, get approved, get hired, go. What you need to do is, when you talk to them on the phone, when you talk to these small companies, you need to ask them, can I use my EIN number and not my social security number for my um, for my LLC? If he say, 
you um he don't want you using your no EIN use social security don't go to them he, he trying to he trying to scam you he trying to play you because it's better for them to pay you I mean for you to use your social security number than you use your EIN so if he let you use your EIN he want to see you win he ain't trying to scam you he, he's straight up business so what you're gonna do is once he say you can use your EIN number what you're gonna do is you're gonna um Go to, uh, if you don't know about, if you, if you weren't already a business owner and you don't know how to set up an LLC, like going through the IRS way, you're going to want to call, uh, get in contact with LegalZoom. Get in contact with LegalZoom, um, set you up an LLC. Um, you could talk to somebody, they'll walk you through it, or you can go on YouTube, do your research, and they'll tell you what you, sh you should do step by step. So either way, so what you're gonna do is when you on the phone when you on the phone with them or you when you um on legal zoom you're gonna come up with your your business name which you want to call your trucking company um and i and i suggest i suggest that when you name your business name don't put trucking in it so say you want to name it um uh say uh g unit g unit uh express you know what I'm saying? Like, don't call it uh, G Unit Trucking Company. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, um, Snyder uh, Trucking, a uh, Snyder Trucking Company. Call it. Don't do that, cause then when you when it's time to put your write-offs, you only can really write off trucking stuff. You can't really write off a lot of other stuff that you can get that you can use to write off. So you just want to call it such and such, such and such logistics such and such such and such uh ink you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind after that you want to make sure um once you come up with your name you want to make sure nobody when you're gonna go on legal zone and make sure don't nobody got your name so they're they, you'll put your name through they'll run it and they'll let you know if nobody in that state not in america it's just the state that you in don't got that same business company name so after you find once you realize don't nobody got once you realize don't nobody got your company name what you're gonna want to do is get uh find you a um a virtual office and go ahead and get you a virtual office you can pay like north carolina they charge like i think 150 200 you don't know what it is in your state get your virtual office that way you can get a real um a, a business name a business uh i mean a business address for your for your company and not use your residence whether it be your baby mama spot your mama spot most 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 of young cats don't got your own spot so, i mean I ain't, no i'm just what it is like you, you your baby don't use your your baby mama spot even if you got your spot don't use your your address don't use your mama spot use the virtual um um office business address they're gonna give you um a business phone number you see what I'm saying? They're gonna give you a business phone number. They're gonna give you, I think they set up the voicemail for you. When when somebody when somebody call that number, your business name pop up. Don't you don't even put your cell phone number on there. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead and do it right. Don't you can go ahead and set it right in the beginning. The way you ain't gotta go back and change nothing. You see what I'm saying? So get that right. Get the, get the business. That's a tax write off. You see what I'm saying? Look, that's a tax write off. Getting the virtual office when you start your LLC. Make sure you keep the um, screenshot when you pay for it online. That's the tax right off of starting your LLC. So you are already in the positive. You already got tax right off. You ain't even start. You ain't even made a check yet. Like when you paying your uh, two hundred dollars a week or whatever they charge you three hundred one fifty. That's a tax right off. So after that, so after you got, so after you um, set up your virtual office, you're gonna go back, then go through the process with setting up the uh, doing the LLC. Go ahead and set up everything. I'm not really. I'm not gonna explain everything you're supposed to do. They they walk you through it. Set that up. After you set that up, don't pay legal zone for EIN number. That's that's free. Don't pay them an extra money for that. Go to the IRS. Tell me your uh um your, your business name. And um they they spit you out a, 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 a EIN number. Um, that's, that's your tax identification number. Um. They're gonna spit that out. It don't take long, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, 10 minutes, whatever. Um, get that. After you get that, you ready to roll. 
you ready to go to your company, rent a car, plane, whatever how you going whatever how you get there, give me EIN number, give me your business name. And bam, you ready to start you, you ready to start you ready to start rolling. Now what you what you're gonna do is now when you start rolling, you're gonna be making your seventy cent, your sixty five cent a mile, sixty cent a mile, eighty cent a mile. You're gonna be sending checks, you're gonna be making you're gonna be running three thousand miles a week, twenty eight hundred miles, thirty five hundred miles a week. You're gonna be um You're gonna be sending checks, fifteen hundred between fifteen hundred well, I'm gonna say that because you cannot make no money. You can or uh, you can be broke down all week. So you can I say from zero, all it's always zero. You always gonna make a zero dollar check from zero to about twenty five hundred dollars a week, depending on what division you in or if you in a uh, if you in a um a division that that pay more like car hauling or the oil field or heavy haul. You can make three thousand dollars a week, especially if they can, you can find a company that's gonna give you percentage. I always take the percentage over the cent per mile. Now, um, with that, now with the ten, and then so you making your two thousand dollars a week, your eighteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? In good weeks, your three thousand, twenty seven hundred, your eighteen hundred. Right? You gonna get? You gonna be making all that? You gonna be getting your um? So, at the end of the year, you probably you probably um, gonna clock in between. If you're a real runner, you stand out at least four four to six weeks. I would say four to eight weeks at a time, and you ain't doing a lot of home time. When you do go home, you you can you can bring home a hundred grand, eighty ninety grand, a hundred ten twenty grand. Now, that's that's the hundred twenty grand. You ain't got no taxes taken out, so. How you how you come about that is how you break even or even get money money back from that, or maybe just or a little bit, maybe a band or two. Um, what you're gonna do is that's why I, you need to stay out four to six weeks at a time so you can get your twelve thousand dollars per diem. If you, like I stay out six, I stay out six weeks and go home a week. That's when you um that's twelve thousand dollars per diem. You understand that? So that's twelve thousand dollars off. With Trump being in office, I think it's between ten. With Trump being in office, you get ten. I think ten to eleven thousand, something like that, just for having a business. That get taken off. All right. Um, your cell phone bill. That's why. See me. I got two cell phones, so I get the top. I don't, that's why I say you, you you need to get stuff for like most tax write off tax write off stuff. I, I write off my cell phone bills, um, both of my my cell phones and my tablet. And on my tablet, I got Sling, um, Netflix, uh, Stars, all that's tax write off. So that's uh, about fifteen hundred. When I paid it in full, the the tablet, all that, that's the tablet. That's another um, a band and a half in the phones, the iPhone. That's another band. The iPhone's a band. Um, um, another thing you should do, which a lot of people ain't gonna, a lot of people ain't gonna tell you, I forgot about this. This is another big key factor. This is another big key tax write-off for you, working for uh, as a ten out of nine for a, a own operator or um, a small company. Set you up after you set your LLC and your bank stuff. Go ahead, let the, tell your bank that you wanna um, pay yourself and um, you wanna talk to an ADP lady or a man, and they're gonna set the ADP up. They're gonna set up a meeting and set you up with the ADP and go ahead and set up your ADP, get that registered. And um, once you set that up, pay yourself whatever you wanna pay yourself. That's a tax write off. See what I'm saying? So you pay yourself $500 a week. That's 500 times 52 weeks. Even even when you're not working on, on your home time, you still gonna pay your, the ADP still gonna come out $500 a week. Yeah, so when you set the ADP up, paying yourself $500 a week, um, like I said, even when you ain't working, that, that, that five hundred still coming out. That's twenty. That's twenty six thousand. If you paid yourself five hundred dollars a week every week for fifty two weeks, that's fifty two. I mean, that's twenty six thousand that you can take off. You know what I'm saying? The um, the hundred twenty, the hundred grand, ninety eighty grand that you made at the end of the year. If you paid yourself, um, you paid yourself three hundred dollars every week. That's fifteen thousand six hundred dollars. 
that you can take off your with the 80, the 90, the 100, the 120 grand that you made. So you already took, you already took out, uh, um, they already cut down, to your, your CPA already cut down between 15 and 26 bands from your ADP, 10, 11 bands from Trump, giving you that, 12 bands from the per diem. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your clothes that you can write off, your, your, your shoes, your, uh, if you got dreads, every time you get it twisted, that's a tax write-off. Uh, haircut, shape up, them tax write-offs. You see what I'm saying? Get you, go ahead, and get your nice stuff. Go ahead and get you a, the, the top-notch GPS tax write-off. Go ahead and get you a drive cam tax write-off. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff, man. By the time, and if you're lucky like me, you you get the mother of your child that you carry a um. Um, um, if you got kids, uh, the one of the childs, uh, uh, both the childs or one of the child, that's another five, I don't know, between five and seven bands. I think it's five grand off. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Put on board, like, let her know, like, this is how you should come at your baby mama or your mother or your child, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Or you still can be with them, your, um, your woman, your wife. Let, tell her like this, say, like, um, you, cause you probably gonna be the breadwinner. Just let her know, like, let me carry the children, let me carry the um the baby, or she might got two two um kids. Let me carry both of the kids. Um, I'm just trying to break. Just let her know, like, I'm just trying to break even. I don't want to pay the government. I already give you the money. Cause she she probably come at you like, ah, nah, nah, I'm oh, you tell her I'm, I'm gonna take care of that. I pay whatever you owe. I pay in, and I'm gonna give you a couple bands. You've been winning all year. You've been you've been making two grand, eighteen hundred, seventeen hundred, uh, twenty five hundred, three thousand all year. So you can pay whatever she owe, like whatever she owe, because she might when she carry the kids, she break even or get money back. So she might get five, six bands back, or unless she filed a zip. You know what I'm saying? Unless she filed a zip, and um. So you'll you'll pay whatever she owe. If she filed a zip, you'll pay that that fine she owe, a couple bands, then give her two or three bands. You still winning. You still winning. So do that. You keeping all that you keeping the money all in, in one household. So if you got you know what I'm saying, if you got that, do that. And don't finesse her. Like she let you carry the, she trusts you enough to let you carry the kids or the child. Don't finesse her. Give her the money. Pay what she needs off. Like don't finesse her that way. She, you you can keep doing it, even if you're not with her. Don't finesse her. See what I'm saying? So, if, once you do all that, man, you're gonna be like me, man. You're gonna get money back, and you're gonna break even. You're not gonna owe ten grand. You're not gonna owe ten, fifteen grand, eight grand. You're not gonna owe that much. You didn't you didn't cut you didn't cut the you didn't cut the you didn't cut it. If you made a hundred and you made a hundred bands, you can cut that in half. You can cut that down to like forty grand. So on paper, it's gonna look like forty to thirty grand. On paper, it's gonna look like you made thirty grand, and you get taxed by that. You ain't gonna, you're not gonna owe no ten, fifteen grand. That's a lie. That's the best way. Any real anybody that really want to see you win, they got a company. They are gonna tell you, even if they don't got, even if you're not working for them, they are gonna tell you. Ten ninety nine, the best way to go. When, oh, I when you when you, your health insurance, that's a tax write off. If you set up an IRA through your business name, through your ADP, set you up an IRA, they don't even gonna tax that. So whatever you put, they gonna they ain't even gonna tax that at, at, at the end. See what I'm saying? So it's just so many cuts, man. Just so many. It's just so many. You get so so much tax write up, so much stuff. Why would you want to work for a W two? Why would you want to do that? Tell me why. So, go, come, go in the comments. Tell me why would you want to work for somebody that's gonna pay you on a W two? It ain't nothing that he paying you. There ain't nothing that he giving you on a W two that the ten ninety nine on. They got they got new trucks. They got new trailers. Yes, they do. What what the benefits? The what the raise? Why do that? I mean, 
you can, the raise he gonna give you or she gonna give you or what company gonna give you, you you, you already making more than them. You, you getting thirty percent at a company, make it bringing in two twenty five hundred, two thousand dollars a week. It's, I seen companies that that, that, that guarantee you two thousand a week, as long as you stay out seven days. You know what I'm saying you breaking even, you make you breaking even on your taxes at the end. If you do everything I say, remember, get, get set up the L, uh, LLC. Even when you even when you pay your tax man, even when you pay the the CPA, that's a write off for the next year. Everything you do, it's a tax write off. This is what I'm telling you, man. Do that 1099, man. Set that ADP up. Set that LLC up. Pay yourself a good chunk. Five hundred twenty six thousand dollars off your. That's a lot, man. Don't don't let. Don't let the system rip you, man. You finesse the system. We, 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 we trying to do better. We trying to we trying to get money. I want to see you win. I want to see you win. What you want? You want the Corvette? I want to see you in that vet. I want to see you in that hell. You want the Hellcat? You want the Demon? I want to see you in it. You ain't got to... You can get it. And I'm going to drop a video on how... I mean, having expensive cars, how you can make money while you're on the road using your expensive car, renting it out the right way. That's coming soon, so look, stay tuned for that. Get what you, you know what I'm saying? Get what you want. I want to see you ball. I want to see you stack. I want to see you grow. I want to see you invest. Don't dump your money in these 401ks, these IRAs, to the company. Don't do that, man. That's your investment money. That's your real estate money. Don't you want to 10 properties, five properties, a, 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 a triplexes and all that? You, 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 you putting your investment money in the 401k in the government, it's a good chance they're going to finesse you it's, it's all a game dog don't 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 let that be you, you don't waste too much time on them you done gave it up change that man, quit your job quit, your, quit that W2 job man, find you a 1099 company man, and start winning think about it you're not, you're not the owner operator you're not the owner operator. You don't you're not grossing six, seven, eight grand a week. They gotta have more. That's why they need the, the the truck payment. They need the gas. You might you just gonna grow you just grossing two thousand. You just gross between fifteen hundred and three thousand in in your real, real bad weeks. A thousand, twelve hundred and to zero. So you ain't it ain't looking that bad. It's easy to knock that down. You gonna start off in the 30 30% tax bracket and then you're gonna work your way down. It's gonna drop a whole bunch. So man, don't let these don't let these these small companies, these mega carriers fool you, man. 1099 the way to go. I wouldn't do it. I don't care if they paying a dollar a mile or whatever as a company. I'm not doing it. I'm taking the 1099. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't it ain't that I got a the, uh, I got a strong CPA that's just making it seem like nah it's, it's just the it's just it's just what it is the eighty the ADP is a lot of people that's doing that and not setting up that's how you know you got a real a real friend somebody really want to see you win if they don't tell you about the ADP thing how that's how that can be a tax write off don't just pay yourself like set up another bank account and just pay yourself out your business and you ain't paying it to uh, ADP. That's not because you paying taxes on that money every week that you pay eighty, you paying taxes on that money. So you good on that end. Don't just take it out your account. Anybody that that, that love you or uh, want to see you win, and they don't tell you that, you you need to reevaluate that friendship because they ain't tell you they ain't tell you they ain't telling you everything. I'm gonna tell you everything. Man. We I don't even know you. We ain't even, we, uh, we we uh. We, we is family, but we, I don't know you personally because you subscribe, you watching this video. So I feel like we family. I'm gonna give you the game. I'm the game spitter. I'm gonna drop it once I learn it and I see that it's right and I work it. I'm gonna give it to you because it's too much money out here to be selfish and not drop the game. We'll be we'll, we'll be hiding for. We'll, we'll be we'll be hiding misinformation. We'll be hiding this information for. I'm gonna drop it on you, dog. I want to see you with these with the real estate. I want to see you in these fast cars. Whatever you like, I want to see you with it. Jerry, whatever you like, I want to see you with it. 
I want you to win. I want you to make more money. I want you to keep more money. I really, that's if you like that. I really want to see you stack and invest in stocks and invest and grow and take care of your family, man. And don't fall. Don't fall for this forty forty or oh, in trucking. This this yeah. For that's forty forty scam, man. Rip forty. 40 years, 40 hours, 401k. Come on, man. This ain't back in the day. In the 70s, in the, in the 80s, in the 50s, 60s, and all that, you can live. You make can live off of 401k. You make can live off of 100 grand, 50, uh, 80 grand that you saved up for working all your life. Now, the average car, 30 bands. The average car the average car that you buy today is 30 grand. You know, like, I ain't going to get into all that. You, you know what I'm saying, like, Man, everything going up. Don't do that, man. Like, it's too much money in trucking, man, to be making this accepting. You, 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 you working 70 hours a week, and you making $1,000 with Snyder, uh, JB Hunt, you making 1100 a week. And you grossing 1300 and you coming home with 900 and you, like you might be local or some original, go find a regional company to pay you ten ninety nine, so you can gross that fifteen hundred and keep all that, and break even on your taxes or possibly get money back. When you see when you when you when you carry them kids, they gonna that's gonna get you the money back. When you carry them one child, that's gonna get you the money back. You do what I say, get the ADP, and and buy nice stuff for you. Buy buy nice write off tax write off stuff. Your TV and all that. Man, you're gonna come back and be like, yeah, you was right. You was right. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. Another conversation with the game splitter. And once I learn it, I teach it, I drop it, I give you the knowledge, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Don't keep missing this game, man. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell. You need this game, man. I'm young with it, 28, and I'm dropping all this game on you. You know what I'm saying? Go to that Instagram. 704 Soldier Chris. It's at 704 Soldier Chris. Gmail. 704 Packers. At gmail.com. You want me to, you got a request, you want me to drop a video. You need some knowledge. Go on the, hit the DM on the Instagram or go on the email. And holler at me. I get back at you. We'll work something out. But like always, man, stay safe. Stay trucking. Stay making money. Stay stacking. Stay growing. Stay investing. Stay healthy. Go.